there are several questions on the minds of Delhiites. Now, Delhi will host the global leaders for G20 summit and there are several security arrangements and restrictions that have been made. Let's understand how will normal life be impacted and what will be open and what will be shut. First things first, the restrictions will come into place from 5 a.m. on September 8th, that's Friday, to midnight of 10th September, that's Sunday. So what will be shut for these three days? First, all private and government schools, colleges, offices and banks will be shut across the capital city. Second, no goods vehicles will be allowed to enter the national capital during these three days. These are the key restrictions for the whole of the city, whole of Delhi. But the other major restrictions are limited to the controlled zone. This is the New Delhi Municipal Corporation or the NDMC district because it has the Pragati Maidan which is the venue for the G20 summit. The other controlled zone is the Rajghat area but that will only have restrictions only from 9th midnight to 10th September 2 p.m. So only the first half of Sunday. While the entire area inside the ring road in the national capital will be the regulated zone as you can see in that map. So people in the controlled zones which is the NDMC area they can't get food deliveries or any online deliveries for three days. Cloud kitchens will also be shut but these are restrictions only in the New Delhi district for three days. Deliveries will be allowed normally in all other districts. Next, all theatres, restaurants, malls and liquor shops will also be shut in the NDMC area for these three days. But what about markets? The markets that fall in the NDMC area such as the Khan market will be shut but some others such as Connaught Place won't be entirely shut though movement there will be restricted. The police has also advised people in the NDMC area to not come out for walks or cycling. Any vehicle, vehicle movement within the NDMC district is also not allowed except for people who are residents of the NDMC district with a valid residence proof or authorized vehicles with valid passes and emergency vehicles. But you won't be able to easily get autos or taxis as these are not allowed within the control zone of the NDMC area. Even local DTC and other buses are not allowed on the Mathura Road, Bhairo Ma the Purana Kila Road and the Pragati Maidan Road. So while all of this is not allowed, what's really open? All essential stores, milk shops, grocery shops, medicine shops and ATMs will remain open across Delhi, even in the New Delhi district. Hospitals across Delhi will be open too and ambulances will be allowed to enter and pass through any area across the city. These come in emergency services. Airports and railway stations will be open, but to go there via regulated routes, you will have to show tickets. Next, outside the New Delhi district, most of the things will function pretty normally. All markets, shops, theatres, malls outside India will be open. So while markets such as the Khan market will be closed, all Delhi markets such as Chandni Chowk will remain open. Vehicles, buses will also be allowed to travel in other districts. The Delhi police has advised people to travel via metro to avoid any restrictions as all metro stations will be open except the metro gates won't open at the Supreme Court station. Metro in fact will start from 4am these three days. Next, postal services will function normally across the city and catering, waste management, housekeeping personnel will also be allowed to travel across Delhi but for the NDMC district they'll only be allowed after verification. Importantly Delhi's borders are open. Entry and exit for interstate buses and general traffic will also be allowed except for movement via NH48 which connects Delhi and Gurugram. So you can totally go out for a trip during these three days. For traveling inside Delhi you can find allowed and alternate routes from the app Map My India, you can also find alternate routes to go outside of Delhi. So don't believe the rumors, there's no lockdown in Delhi.